Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chirar. In this video, I am going to discuss how to configure email server, a step-by-step -step tutorial. Create one topology with two PCs, one switch, one router and one server. In this video, I am going to configure email server. Before the configure email server, assign the IP addresses to each devices except the switch. So let's start with the router. Click on the router, go to the config, click on the gigabit ethernet 00 and assign the IP address 10.0.0.1 and the subnet mask is 255.0.0.0 because it is class A IP address. Then port status must be on. Now same way assign the IP address to the gigabit ethernet 01. It is 192.168.1.1 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 because it is class C IP address and port status must be on. So IP addresses have been assigned both the interface of the router. Next task is assign the IP address to both the PCs. Let's start with the PC1. Click on the PC1, go to the desktop, click on the IP config and assign the IP address. It is 10.0.0.2 and the subnet mask is 255.0.0.0 and the default gateway is the router IP address it is 10.0.0.1 so same way assign the IP address to PC2 so IP address is assigned to both the PCs next task is assign the IP address to the server so click on the server Go to the desktop, click on the IP configuration and assign the IP address 192.168.1.2 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 because it is class C IP address and the default gateway is the router IP address 192.168.1.1. So now IP address is assigned to all the devices. Next task is configure the email services at the server. So first of all click on the server go to the services click on the email so first of all enter the domain name so for example here my domain name is gmail.com click on the set button so our domain name has been saved you can use any domain name like yahoo.com abc.com redifmail.com xyz.com etc now create two different users so first user is user1 and the password is 123 Using the plus sign, you can add the user. Now, second user is user2 and the password is again 123 and add the user. So, here you can create user as per your requirement. So, as per my requirement, both the users are created. We already know about that. There are two important email protocols. One is the SMTP and second one is the POP3. So, both the protocols are very important to send and receive the email. So here in this window you can show SMTP services and POP3 services are on. So whenever you configure the email server make sure SMTP and POP3 services must be on. So email configuration at the server side is completed. Next task is configure the email on both the PCs. Let's start with the PC1. Now click on the PC1. Go to the desktop and click on the email. So here three types of informations are required. The first one is the user information, second one is the server information and the third one is the logon information. So we will enter all the information one by one. So let's start with the user information. So your name. So for example here my name is Chirak. So here you can write any name. The next one is the email address which is already created during the server configuration. So my first user email id is user1 at the red gmail.com next information is the server information so in both the information i will add server ip address which is 192.168.1.2 so incoming mail server it is 192.168.1.2 same ip address is used for the outgoing mail server 192.168.1.2 next information is logon information so first information is username which is already created during the server configuration it is user 1 and the password of user 1 is 123 
So here I have to add the username which is used in email address. My email address is user1 at the rate gmail.com. So my username is user1. So now click on the save button and save all the information. So same configuration on PC2. So here both the PCs are configured. Let's check our configuration is working or not. Now I will send one email from the PC1 to PC2 and I will check that mail is received at PC2 or not. So click on the PC1, go to the desktop, click on the email. So here I am sending the mail, so click on the compose. Now give the email address of the user2, user2 at the red gmail.com and my subject is test mail so my message for the user 2 is hi how are you now click on the send button and mail has been sent so now click on the pc2 go to the desktop click on the email and click on the receive button now you can see i have received the mail from the user 1 so my message was hi how are you to the user 2 so it means I received the mail successfully. Now send a replay to the user1. Click on the replay button and type the message. I am fine. Click on the send button and my message has been sent. Now go to the PC1 and click on the receive button. So I am receiving the reply from user2. So now I can say successfully configure the email server. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and share with others. Thank you for watching this video.